So today's video is all about finding relaxation during those PMS triggered headaches or migraines. So for me, I get migraines very frequently, especially during my ovulation time and as well as my PMS time. So let me just be very clear. I obviously did not shoot this during an actual migraine or the peak of my migraines. I actually filmed this as my migraines were coming back down because usually they tend to last about a week sometimes, unfortunately. And like that two to three day mark is when they're the worst. But right now they've come down. So I was able to go ahead and put this video together just to show you guys how I find relaxation during these really bad migraine times. My shower routine is very basic. This is not the time that I do the everything shower. So I'm not going to shave. I'm not going to, you know, do any kind of body exfoliating. I am going to literally get in here, wash my behind and get out. So for my cleanser, I love using the Salt Air brand. So I use their Salt Air body wash. And then I use my Aveeno in my very feminine areas and my intimate areas um, because I have really sensitive skin. So that is all on the shower routine. Very basic, very simple, very relaxing. So now my shower routine is complete again like i said i don't do the everything shower during this time because a lot of the times i even struggle to stand up in the shower when i have a bad migraine so i try to cleanse you know get my body a good scrub and get out when i come into my room i do like to dim the lights as much as possible um if you're anything like me i am triggered heavily by lighting when i'm having a bad migraine sometimes during these really bad times I can't even go into some stores because of how their lighting is. So just to kind of set a mood, I like to dim my lights as much as possible. I go ahead and put on my body um, creams just so I can give my skin some good moisture. So right now I'm just using my Aveeno Tone and Texture body cream and I'm just gonna lather up in that really nicely. Nine times uh, out of 10, I don't do anything else. Like I have spray oils and things like that that I would do on a regular day. But again, today I'm just trying to cleanse myself you know, do my skincare routine. I'm trying to hurry up and get in the bed so that I can relax my head and not be moving around so much. So very similar to my shower care routine, my skincare routine is pretty much going to look the exact same. Again, this is not the time that I'm going to go in with a deep treatment mask on my face. Neither am I going to do any additional exfoliating of my skin. I am trying to cleanse myself as quickly as possible, but also as thorough as possible so that I can sit down because when lights are on and in this image right here, lights were on, it was actually beginning to bother me. So I want to get through, I want to cleanse my face, you know, with a good cleanser. I want to put on some kind of toner and a sleep mask or a collagen mask, something like that, and then go ahead and moisturize. Very quick, very easy, and very simple for this time of day or this time period where I'm having a migraine.
As much as I love my patchouli and rosewood candle, this is not the time that I'm going to have fruity scented candles or any kind of stronger smelling candles lit. I am going to opt to have my oil diffuser on. So today I'm just throwing in a little bit of peppermint oil and that is because peppermint oil is really good for migraines. So sometimes I'll put that in my diffuser and then I'll also put some of that on my forehead as well. Um, but I just like to not have any kind of strong triggering smells that are going to add to my migraine. My biggest piece of advice is to make sure that you're just always paying attention to yourself, okay? Make sure that you are in tune with yourself. Look for those warning signs and triggers that might present themselves because a lot of the times they do present themselves, but we are too preoccupied with everything else going on in life. And then we look up and it's too late um, because honestly, it took me years to make the connection between the fact that my migraines were in fact triggered by my PMS or by my ovulation. And when I took it to my doctor, she was like, oh yes, indeed, because our home hormones just take a very wild ride during that time but i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you comment down below tell me what kind of therapies or relaxation tips you have that um, you do during this time period but again uh thank you so much make sure you hit that subscribe button below and also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so you can see when videos are dropping to the channel until next time love bye